Well, it's finally time. Doki Doki, purest mod. The most well-known, loved, and appreciated mod in the entire TDLC fandom. And I did not say modding community, because even if you are not a part of the modding community, chances are you know what this mod is. This mod was created a long time ago, at this point I believe four years ago. It wasn't the first mod created, but one of the first. And simply all it does is really change DDLC from being a horror visual novel into simply a regular dating sim. One where you don't have to worry about Monica messing around with the code and potentially people dying. The worst things we'll get is maybe uh, I'll eat Natsuki's cupcake and she'll go baka baka baka, hit me in the head and I go, oops Natsuki, I'm a dummy. Will you still please date me? And then she goes, of course baka. This is the level of drama and tension we have, okay? And that's the appeal of this mod. You can choose any girl you want to date. You can go on fun dates with them. And at the end of the day, everyone is happy, safe, and healthy. And that's all there is to it. So, even though I'm not necessarily a huge fan of generic dating sims, I felt like considering... I haven't played a mod in a while. This would be kind of a nice light refresher in terms of getting back into them. And just honestly, I feel like I can't even call myself a, a DDLC mod content creator without playing this mod. I mean, it is so important. This is one of the founding fathers, the founding fathers of DDLC mods. Next to like, I don't know, Monica after story, but we don't really talk about that one here. So like, this is it, man. Okay, this is it. I know I took a long time to preface it, but I felt like it was important. I'm ready to play the mod. And um, by the way, I have no idea which route I'm going to go down. Whatever my heart tells me is what we're going to do. Okay. And I believe all routes are open immediately. So if I want to like date Monica, we can just do that, man. We can just do that. We can just do that. This is why the mod was so popular. Because you can just do that. Okay? <laughs> so maybe we'll do that. Or maybe we'll just date Natsuki. Because she's best Doki. Pepe laugh. Okay, I don't know. But point is, let's get into it. Let's have a good time. And um, let's play DDLC, baby. We already know all about this. We agree to everything. We love Dan. We love the mod creators. We respect everybody here. No copyright infringements. Give me the juice because I am ready. <laughs> Monica, I am as surprised as you are right now. What the fuck is happening? I literally thought I, I somehow... Uh, like, ported the game wrong. I thought I... I thought I fucked something up. Um, hello? Long time no see, Monica. I know, I haven't visited you in a while. <laughs> anyway. Ah! Uh, what? What did you do? What have you done to me? Why is this place back here? <sighs> Didn't I tell you not to twit my heart like this? I didn't want to come back. But I still came back to save you when Siri started to lose it. I don't know what you intend to do, but... I really want you to be happy. But there's no happiness to be found here. I don't want you to be unhappy. This is for the best, okay? I still love you, after all. But you deleted me. So I know you don't want anything to do with me. Goodbye. What? Why can't I do anything? Oh no. What have you done? What are you doing? No matter what I try, nothing is working. All I get is some permission error again and again. Did you lock me out of being able to change things? You're the one that could do something like that. 
Why? Why are you trying to hide from me? What are you trying to hide from me? Why did you drag me back into this cursed hell? I know you might hate me for what I did, but isn't this just too cruel? Or is this my punishment for what I did to them? Are you enjoying throwing me around like this? Just why did you bring me back? I'm going to make things right. What? What do you mean, make things right? Do you really think that's even possible? I told you already, there is no happiness to be found in the literature club. You'd be doing so much, all for nothing. It might make you a little happy for a short while, but nothing will change. And I know it will hurt a lot when you realize that. So please, I don't want to see you in that kind of pain. You won't listen to me, will you? I guess if I told you not to do it, you'd be more even likely to do it. <laughs> After all, you don't want anything to do with me, right? But seeing as I'm stuck now, I want to know, really, why are you doing this? Is there someone you want to be with? Or is it because you want to be the good guy? Tell me. Holy shit, um, did not realize we were going to have choices here, um, that seem as important and this, as this one? There's someone I want to save more like I want to save everyone. Let's do it. Oh, nobody deserves what happened. Sorry, I thought this. I thought the top choice said, um, like everyone deserves what happened. No, nobody deserves what happened. What the hell? <laughs> you aren't wrong. I wouldn't wish that anyone be dragged into this game. So you want to make things right, huh? Fine. I'll play along. Maybe. No, never mind. Just remember, nothing will truly change. I guess it's the title screen after this. Bro, what? What the hell is going on? And also, I'm loving the custom music already. You know, one thing that actually spurred me to uh, decide to click on this game again, or like click on this mod and actually think about playing it, is um, somebody made a poll about, you know, which mod has the best OST, and Purist mod was on there. And my brain immediately thought, oh, they mean the regular DDLC. And I was like, you know what? I think the re regular DDLC probably does have the best OST out of all of them, if I had to say so myself. So I clicked on it, and I was the only one that voted for that, and I was like, what is happening? Um, no, it's they're obviously talking about Purist mod. So, I don't know, apparently people don't think it has that great of an OST, but kind of liking it so far. Definitely can't complain. Anyway, um, let's get into it. It's, uh, it's your boy RAR. I mean, you already know what it is. Let's do it. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. At some point, I should just memorize the first act of DDLC. I could probably do it. It could be like a cool little, uh, uh, like icebreaker in a party. You know, when you get to know somebody, they're like, what kind of cool, unique, interesting talent do you have? You're like, oh... Well, do you have uh, five hours of spare time? Because I'm about to blow your goddamn mind. <laughs> that girl is Yori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making a day, but just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. I'd get tired of waking up. Or waiting up. But if she's gonna chase me after me like this, then I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Siori catch up to me. Yeah, I say I should know this at the back of my hand, even though I've messed up reading the lines like three times. Come on, Rar, get your head in the game! Do you know how to play DLC mods anymore, Rar? Do you? 
We got this shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's do it. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh? You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Roar. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. I will say, it. I'm just getting a blast of nostalgia, though. I don't love replaying Act 1, but I. it's just so funny. Because certain lines I read, if you go back and watch any of my playthroughs where I read these lines, I say it in the same canter every time. The one that really always gets me is when uh, Yuri and Natsuki are, are fighting. And then, uh, you know, they're talking about Yuri's size growing or her boobs growing two times the size. Anyway, we'll get to the point. Okay, there's no reason to describe it because we're going to get there in like an hour. <laughs> I actually don't think this mod is that long. That's also why I'm deciding to play it. I think one route is about an hour and a half, two hours. So yeah, you know, I'm down. I'm down. For some reason, I thought Purist mod was like 20 hours. It's just not. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. What have you say, Siori? <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Roar, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's talking about. She really likes to worry a little bit too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on, you know, an average life, spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy right now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. It's a slippery slope. Siori understands, man. She does. You trust me, right? It's just so funny because like I'm I am not a neat, but one of the first anime I ended up watching was Welcome to the NHK, and it's a deep dive perspective into somebody that can slip into that rabbit hole and kind of how that affects you as a person, the relationships you have, and maybe new ones you build, and how it's really hard to even keep them thriving and alive because of all these horrible habits you've built for yourself, how socially isolated you are, how such an easy task of going to the grocery store is a scary thing you gotta prepare yourself for three hours. So much to it. But um, when I first watched it, could not relate at all. Now, I haven't rewatched it, but I know if I watched it again, I'd be like, damn, bro. This is not me, but I could see me being this if I went down a really sad and degenerate route. Luckily, we're not doing that. Anyway, yeah, neat life. Not something to aspire to. Absolutely at all. Yeah, the only character I related to in NHK was, uh, was the girl that was trying to fix him, <laughs> which is just hilarious. But anyway, um, let's keep going. All right, all right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy, okay? No promises, though. We at least promise that you'll try a little, though. Yeah, I guess I can promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. 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 Siri wants me to check out some clubs. Guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Siori. Siori must have came into the classroom when I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're worse than me sometimes. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't have to wait for me. If it's gonna make you late for your own club, Siori. Well, I thought that you might need some encouragement. So I thought, you know... 
know what? And I will also say, considering this mod is literally about DDLC, but the fucked up shit doesn't happen, it makes the opening scene, like the beginning of Act 1, much more impactful in a way. You know what I mean? Because... I don't know. I mean, if you were one of the lucky few that got to play DDLC not knowing that it's at least under the category of horror, like if you really thought it was a generic visual novel, you know, I think I can really understand why you might be able to get easily attached to the characters. I felt like even during my first playthrough, I had this slight detachment from everything that was happening because I knew that something bad was going to happen. So because of that, until we got to that point, or until I got to that point, it almost felt like things didn't really matter. I don't know if anyone can kind of relate to what I'm saying here, but yeah, I don't know. Like DDLC is genuinely a pretty well written game. And I just feel like I didn't maybe necessarily appreciate that on my first playthrough. So I'm gonna let myself kind of feel that. I'm gonna sink into it as much as I can. Because I know nothing fucked up's gonna happen, man. Nothing fucked up's gonna happen. Imagine how poorly this is gonna age if somehow something fucked up does happen. I'm saying that, but trust me, I do not believe it. So if it does, I genuinely will be fucking shook. God, imagine I got like a cursed copy of Purist. <laughs> and Siori just hangs herself at the end again. Holy shit, dude. I would- Oh! Dude, that would be crazy. Anyway, okay, you know what? Uh, well, you know, you should come to my club. Siori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, what do you mean, Mini? Siori is the vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to st help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <clears throat> you know what is interesting? Again, not, not that it's like that deep, but I don't know, I'm kind of dumb. I feel like I never realized the fact that um. You know, because Siori is struggling so much and she almost never gets to walk to school with us because she wakes up so late, it's kind of really cute that she did make it today. You know, she probably did set her alarm clock, felt like absolute shit. Everything in her being and body was telling her to just go back asleep and get to class after second period or something. But she had the motivation and determination to barely make it in time to catch up with us and, uh, and take us to the club because she really, 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 really cares about us and wants to do that, you know? So her feelings for us were barely enough to like help her triumph and push through her depression. It's not saying we like fix her depression or something. It's just, you know, there was that battle. And, um, and you know, through those thoughts of, of having a happy club experience with uh, her childhood friend, it was, it was just enough to push her, which is kind of cool. I like that. I mean, but we don't really know how often she's, like, genuinely late to school. This is under assumption that she basically is almost every day. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. I, I gotta stop talking so much during the freaking prologue, I think. <laughs> don't make any promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Siori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning as to have planned it all out. Oh, she's certainly planned it all out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yay, let's go! And thus today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Siori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used by third year classes and activities. Siori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I can just imagine. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me the new member, okay? Mm -hmm. I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's interesting that we already see uh, Yuri's name here. Uh, I mean... Okay, so I... Mm -hmm. So... 
Okay, that's kind of interesting. I mean, this is how original DDLC technically is, but now it's, uh, we're just woke to the fact. Basically, we have the main character, and he's still doing his main character things. He doesn't know jack shit, but we truly do know. So since we know, of course, of course we see her name here. It's not like the main character sees this text box, you know what I mean? So yeah, we, we would see it as Yuri right now. It's kind of a cool, nice touch. Siori always has so many nice things to say about you. Seriously, who brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, Rar, what a nice surprise. <clears throat> Monica's being a little sussy here. Is, there's, is this really what she says in the original game? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. This feels a, a little a little off kilter here. In my peanut brain. Welcome to the Ditcher Club. Hmm. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. 